Hello everybody, my name is Tizzy and welcome back everyone to some Opus Magnum, where today we are going to be playing actual Opus Magnum instead of just Sigma's Garden, the tiny little solitaire minigame that they included almost for fun. Uh, isn't that something? <laughs> uh, welcome, there we go, there is the little Dizzy down at the bottom of the screen while we wait for the game to fire up. Uh, and welcome to Boom Boom and to Zoe in the chat, it's lovely to see both of you. Also, thank you so much for the headpot, Zoe. I know that you usually charge. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, it's been a long old time since I've done any actual, like, proper puzzles in this game, so... Maybe I'm gonna suck at them, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so we've been playing this, we did a hundred wins in Sigma's Garden. Uh, it was intense and it melted my brain completely. So let's make a stamina potion. This maybe would have been useful to have in real life beforehand. Uh, a little boost at the necessary time. It's how he put it. It's how who put what. Armand is worried about Frederick. Okay. He wonders if Frederick will be able to... Oh, I see. That kind of stamina potion. Right. <laughs> I'm to make him a potion that will <laughs> give him a boost at the necessary time. Not so unusual, really. Stamina potions had long been used for such purposes. It's not making it that's the issue, it's thinking about it. Okay. New. No? How do I do this? Hang on. Right. Okay. So we need to make this. Uh, we need... Some male symbol. Attached to two water molecules. Well, we can start out with some water. And... An alchemical thing. Okay, so these are easy. These just need to get slotted on. Like, these should be dead simple. Uh, in fact, so dead simple... That... I think if I pop you... How do I move this? There we go. If I just pop you, like, down here... Or even if I pop you... Hang on... Here... How do I turn you? Uh, that way. So like that. What I can do is pop it on here. And then for this, I'm pretty sure all I need to do... Wait, can you rotate things? I can't remember if you rotate things. We'll find out. Is... Where's the grab button? Grab. Uh, rotate, drop, right? Yeah, okay. And in fact, it might behoove us to do the other one first. That. Um, pivot. How do I? I can't remember how I step one. There we go. Okay, I need to rotate it around. There. Wrong. Oh, I need to bond them. I'd forgotten I needed to bond them. Okay. I forgot I needed to bond things, but that should be fine. Um, okay, we're gonna put that there as a little guide. Uh, oh, look at this! I can't just bond three things in a line, I have to bond things in pairs. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. It's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh. For now, let's see about getting this to work. So for this, we're gonna need you guys. Uh, we're gonna need another one of these and one of these. And you need to be grab. Rotate, drop, rotate, rotate, grab, rotate back, drop. Do you need to drop? I can't remember. We'll find out, I guess. Uh. Okay, yes, you do need to, to grab. Uh, you do need to drop it. What if... What if... I can find a way... Uh, 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 how do I turn you? Like that. What if I can do something like... Oh, what did that die? Why did that die? Hang on a sec. this be like here and then we get a new arm okay so this how do I delete instructions so this is just doing the mercury side and then this will drop you in there okay so number two is grab rotate drop this one is grab, counter rotate, drop, and then wait for a while while this does its business. Uh, oh, we have a Cody Turnips in the chat. Welcome. How's it going? Oh, you're bringing ham! Offerings of ham! Thank you very much! I'll, I'll just put it on the offering pile. Uh, <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful day! Uh, Alright, let's put you around to there. And put that there. So we'll start on that side, perhaps. I don't know if it matters or not, but uh, just in case it does. Mm, boop, 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 boop. Because I still don't quite know how I'm going to be doing the uh, the bonding thing yet. <laughs> We're going to have to work that one out. I think it should be quite simple, but just in case it isn't, I'm going to have you on this side ready. Uh, right, so you need to... how do I copy and paste things? Is it not with Control c and Control v no, apparently not. Uh, I know there is a button for it, but I can't remember what it is. Okay, right. So that is the correct number of Mercury's. Uh, this number one needs to be redone. To 
rotate around once and drop. Okay. And then once we've done that, you need to grab. Ah, oh, okay, you actually, I don't want you to do this just yet. I want you to, to hold your horses. Uh, you need to go there. Oh, I don't want to do that, hang on. Dip, 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 dip. Oh, you can't go around that way. That's okay, because we can put that there. Nope, hang on. And we can just swap that for that. in. Okay, so that's fine. So what we're then going to do is move that out of the way for now and add in the glyph of bonding here. Right, so these are now bonded. And this has let go. This, I now want to pivot three times, I think. Ah, okay, atoms and bases may not collide. Okay. That's unfortunate but is a solvable problem because we just make this longer, right? Okay, yeah. Right, and while you're doing that, you are returning and grabbing and then spinning back That is annoyingly, like, just one off of being super elegant. Uh -huh. Okay, and now, all I need to do is add a rotate drop, I think. Uh, oh, you need to let go, hang on. I need to reset. Yeah, okay. So, you can then slot in here. Amazing. Oh, wait, this needs to return. Hang on a sec. <laughs> uh, what's the return? Number three, okay. So now, it's not super graceful, but it should work. There we go. I would have liked 
more grace? Like machine has successfully created the desired product. I tell you what, it was a low cost function and a relatively small function, so I'm quite happy with that. Ah, oh, our first puzzle! Our first puzzle in Opus Magnum in quite a long time. Uh, I hope Frederick enjoys that potion. Armand must believe Frederick's marriage is close at hand. Will it be the young lady from House Soria? I was just speculating. The city would celebrate for days. The unions of the two houses. As provisioning, you'd have a lot of work to do. It'd be for a wedding. It would be fun. Hearing is the party. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Anateus. <laughs> Quite. Alright. Now we have an act of aggression. So when I decided we needed to reinventory everything in the building, you should have seen the look on Armand's face. Are you paying attention? Hmm? No. <laughs> That's a no. You're moping. I'm not moping, I'm merely moodily dejected. That's moping. Okay, why? Think about why I'm here. Are you here because I'm an alchemist? In the larger sense. Oh, hello, we've we've got Captain Gelt arriving on the scene. Hello, Captain Gelt. What can I do for you? Your presence is required in the main hall. An aggressive move from another house has taken us by surprise. We need to respond immediately. Okay. You always sound excited. Finally, something significant is happening. Okay, chapter two. Unprecedented action. Our chemical engineering team in practice. 50th edition! That's a lot of editions, my god. Alchemy is the highest art. Its practitioners guide the course of humanity. Throughout the ages, they've steered society, advised kings and queens, other ways shaped the world around them. By choosing to dedicate your life to study, you have taken the first step towards becoming a steward of the supreme knowledge. Okay. Sure. Uh... House Colvan? That's unfortunate. I'll have to lodge a formal protest. I begin developing weapons! Something like a flame grenade. Uh, I doubt they'll be necessary. It's not uncommon for houses to renegotiate territories this way. They've taken over multiple buildings as well, so that any resistance. I'll stop pushing forward soon and attempt to reinforce new borders. That's how it goes. We should push back at least a little bit. We won't want to look weak after all. I'll execute a limited rearguard action with forces stationed in the area. House Garvin doesn't want to fall in battle any more than we, we do. We'll trade a few streets, that should be the end of it. Okay. Taros Colvin is the head of that family now. He is likely keen to test our response. I'll send a message to him and we'll sell th settle this like honourable houses. He was a bright boy. I'm sure he'll listen to reason. Wait, more Sigmar's garden? Okay. Not more Sigmar's Garden, I guess. Hair product. This is not the best use of my time. Patriarch has personally requested it. Doesn't change anything. As heir, Frederick must make a public appearance on the in the battle, otherwise it may be a problem for honour. It's about that hair needs to be perfectly styled, but I don't understand! This is a war! Precisely, that's why his hair gel needs to be extra strong! <laughs> Oh, this is how the houses work, Anateus. The way things look is very important. Maybe even more important than the way things are. Solve the puzzle. Okay, we need to make triple earth. No, quadruple earth. Okay. That looks fairly simple, to be honest. I'm not anticipating this being a problem. I'm sure it will be, but I'm not expecting it to be. Uh, okay, here, let's start in the middle. Alright, you need to go boop boop boop. Uh, and we need a glyph of bonding. So, you need to grab, turn two, drop, turn one. Turn two. Grab, turn one, drop. 
Oh, actually, you don't need to drop. You need to rotate one more to whittle. Uh No, you need to twiddle one more than that. Okay. Then you need to go back to grab left two. Uh, twiddle two more, I think. Drop. Yeah, that looks right. Back two. This is an incredibly lengthy process, but it's fine, because we're only using, like, one arm. Uh... Grab two. Right, that's the correct shape. From there, I guess you just need to rotate two more and drop. So that's the correct product. Boop. And then drop. Okay. Oh, and I need to reset you. Hang on. Yeah, okay. That's the smallest number of possible components to do this. It's not very quick. Yeah, it's not very quick at all. Apparently you can do it in a lower area. I wonder if that is by wrapping this around something. So that's technically a small area. I don't know how they calculate area. Like, is this a smaller area? Obviously, I'll have to add in. Oh, hang on, actually, wait. on the way to it resetting anyway. Hang on. Ah, no, okay. So you twiddle it that way around, I think? Hang on, hang on. So this takes longer, but is it, is it smaller? I need another two twiddles. Where does it end? 
Okay. Right, and then drop. Reset. Yeah, so is this a, is this a smaller area than before? I don't think it is. Because, like, to me, area is number of hexagons. In which case, this being the smallest number of components is necessarily the smallest num smallest area. But they are obviously using a different calculation of area. Uh, we have a BG! This looks odd. It does look odd. No, this is an even larger area than before. Okay. Well, it's fine. <laughs> uh... How's it going, BG? Welcome. It's been a while, I feel like, since I've seen you in chat. Obviously, I've seen you lots in uh, in, in Fionn's chat and stuff. Uh, but yeah, hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, this ought to keep Frederick's hair solidly in place, even if he wanders into a cyclone. Have the sent to his personal stuff immediately. He is hoping his well-styled hair helps him in the battle. Uh, BG's in the post-uni, the hell is time thing. Ah, yes, I remember that well. I occupied myself in the summer after uni by just doing the thing I'd been doing for my master's project, but, like, again, uh, with the same guy, with the hope of getting it published, and it never got published anyway. And I don't think I ever got paid for it, which is rough. Um, I've been doing good, I've uh, been doing good. What have I been up to? Not a lot. I played some multiplayer plate up for the first time, which was fun. Uh, he wouldn't enter the fight, that would be madness. He just needs to be out in the street for a while so people see him. <laughs> it would be best if he doesn't make a speech. He'll hold up his sword, that should be enough. Right. Good. Wonderful. Oh, we also have rocket propellant. Shouldn't they have stayed their attack by now? Perhaps they need a little more prompting. Had the rockets brought out of storage, much of the propellant has leaked away. They were last used long before either of us were born. It's no problem, I'll just make new propellant. Certain that'll be more powerful than what you had before anyway. My understanding is that more powerful rocket propellant isn't necessarily better? But I'm not a rocket scientist. BG says, is this game like building an algorithm thing? Uh, yeah, basically. You, you, you have, like, levers that you program to do stuff. And the stuff that you're trying to do is sticking together atoms in a particular way. Set your instructions, hope it works? Yeah, basically. Uh, it is like many games in that regard. Uh, okay, I think that the way I want to do this is... Hmm. I'm gonna make this shape. I mean, it should be fairly easy to do it small. Because like the other one, this should be one I can just kind of like chain stuff along, I think. Uh, hang on a sec, you recognize the outside, I don't know if it's the same game. The one you remember was a matching game. Uh, you might be thinking of Sigmar's Garden. Which was, which is, is a mini game inside Opus Magnum that I've been playing for the last two streams of this game, uh, and I played the game until I won it a hundred times because that's what you have to do, and it absolutely melted my brain. Uh, but it's chat's fault because they voted for it. <laughs> um, okay, let's have you up there here. So I guess. Our starting point is going to be grab, rotate left, one, two, three, four, drop, reset as a start. Yeah, okay. BG says, you remember that from a few months back? Yes, that will be the case. Uh, we then... Grab, rotate right, two places, and spin 
that way, two places. That seems about right. What would help? I mean, there are a few things that would help. One thing that would help would be if I could have this, like, paused mid-sequence. And I don't understand why the game doesn't let you do that, because it's incredibly frustrating. Okay, so, then we, we drop... Actually, if I hit just put this in, does that include drop? Yes, it does. Okay, amazing. So then we grab, turn right, two places, uh, rotate one, we reset. Because I always think of the reset as just being something you stick on at the end, but you absolutely can just like plop it in. In the middle. Right, and then same again. Grab two places. Uh, oh, we have a Sheska as well. Welcome. Gosh, everyone is here today. That's so wonderful. It's lovely to see all of you. Uh, how's your day going, Sheska? Two places. And then I think we can just drop that there. Ah! Ah! Okay, that's fine. Um, I don't actually want to do that last bit. Hang on. Because I need to stick the salt on the end. So actually, what I want to do here is spin this around one, two, three places. Maybe only two places. One, two. One. Uh, with everybody, <laughs> Smash Bros. Ultimate. I, I, th I think Smash Bros. Ultimate is not my favorite entry in the Smash Bros. franchise. <laughs> um, right. Yes. So that's what we want, and then we reset. And then we grab and we go all the way around. One, two, three, four. That looks about right. Okay, and then we go back two places to where we have this waiting in some orientation, probably is that. And then we reset. Okay, let's try this. Uh, you're tired from a bit of exercise. The slogan was everybody's here. True! I'd forgotten that. Amazing. Look, we're making stuff, we're making rocket fuel. Oh yeah, look at us. We're not even using two fires, because we literally don't have enough space around this arm for two fires. <laughs> Hooray! Oh, look at that. Lowest cost. I guess I'm a, that's, that's the kind of alchemist I am. I guess when I see elegance, I'm typically thinking cheapest. Some people are thinking, like, fastest or, or smallest. I'm thinking cheapest most of the time. Uh, Shesk says, you're doing something fun. You got some homebrew in your D&D campaign. One of your players basically made mechanical duplicates of himself with a shared hive mind. Oh, God, your player is playing as a Ralts. Congrats. Um, <laughs> that is always fun, though. Uh, let me see how the rockets perform. The din and smoke is always quite a sight. A rocket barrage should give them good fright. I hope it convinces them to stop advancing. They'll regret not stopping earlier. 
It's taken us long enough to organize this response. And things is very warmongery. Now we have the full might of House Phantasm will bear down on them. This will put a stop to their advance. In before it doesn't. Ah, uh, Chester says, and one of the villains kidnapped one of the duplicates, converted into their side. Now I'm working out what this rogue hive mind has been up to. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Uh, the airship dock is lost now too, I thought we were pushing them back. They're moving faster than we anticipated. Don't we outnumber them? We do, but if this keeps happening, won't we lose the war? It's hardly a war. Then what is it? A kind of diplomacy. I'll do it then, I'll ensure that House Colvan regrets every building they take. Uh-oh. Are we gonna do a war crime? What do we need? Okay, I need two different things. Oh, interesting. Okay. I've never had this before. Um... This may or may not be possible with one arm. I gotta think about how I'd organize one arm. Uh... So obviously we'll need a, an heir, and we'll need a ward of bonding, a glyph of bonding, and it'll have to be organised like that. For sure, for sure. Uh, Shaska says, hint, it's creating more hive minds within a hive mind hierarchy. All really mad at the player who originally created them. Oh boy! Um, other things we need are... Okay, here's a question. If I put... If I bond together... Uh, a lead... And... A mercury... Actually, no, I, okay, I definitely can't do it like this because there's no way to get whatever my third element is out. Okay, so we've, we, we've established I can't do it with one arm. That's fine. Uh, okay. Knowing that we can't do it with one arm makes it a lot easier. Because it means we have one arm for the, uh, this stuff, and then one arm for the air and putting everything away. Uh, if we do that, it's in the right place. Uh, let's have an arm here. It starts there. You can start. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I won't be able to get this out if I do this like this. Okay, it's okay. We can improvise and adapt and overcome. Probably. Maybe. Probably like this. Um, just so it's gonna be fun when the players find out. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. Right. I think this is where we start. The so number one not on that. So you grab, you rotate, you, you drop, you reset. Grab. Actually, no, you don't reset. You drop. You grab. 
No, wait, you can't grab them. Mind, let me do reset. Grab, you spin, one, two, three. At the same time, arm number two up there is grabbing, spinning one, dropping. Oh, products must be placed. Okay, fine. I'll just have them on the board. Right, okay, then you need to grab again. Rotate two more. Oh, hang on. Hang on a sec. This isn't what we wanted. It's okay though, it's still fine. Okay, I got this. I promise I got this. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have you there, and then you there, and you're not gonna do this just yet. You're gonna drop that there. Hasn't that bonded you two? Have I got a bloody glyph of unbonding? What's this? Yeah, okay. That's not helping. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Right. So at the same time, you've dropped a mercury there. You need to be spinning around two more and grabbing oh god what did I okay and then you need to rotate this way same time as you drop, you need to grab. Then you need to rotate one, and then you're ready to reset. While at the same time you need to go back one, grab this mercury that you dropped, back to and 
back two again. Twiddle one. Reset. I like that! It's relatively short. Okay, yeah, cost, lowest possible cost, cycle actually very long. Sure. These files contain the vapour that makes areas inaccessible for a time. Mr. Poison? It won't be fatal. Not very honourable, I doubt Armand would be pleased. That one hurt your head a little? They all hurt my head a little bit. <laughs> you have better ideas. We've been struggling to catch up this whole time. We're making a good show of our defence while we wait for Hulse Colvin to respond to our message. A truce will be negotiated soon. Won't the terms be more favourable if we push back harder? Terms will be favourable either way. Armand is a master negotiator. Now he built this house. Okay, now we have explosive file. Got an idea for a new weapon. Something simple even the house staff could use. The staff? Those who haven't been bestowed the sword certainly shouldn't be given any other weapons. What if House Colvin doesn't stand down? What if our soldiers can't hold the line? You're being foolish. A message will arrive any moment now. You keep saying that, and yet... Besides, if there's fighting indoors, the damage to the property would be extremely unfortunate. Colvin breached the perimeter. Won't the consequences be much worse? Ooh, gl Glyph of Triplex bonding. Creates three separate types of bonds between fire atoms. Specifically fire atoms that when overlaid become a triplex bond. I don't understand what that means, to be honest. Ah, okay, I see. Right. I've, I looked at the thing and now I do understand. Right, so this needs to be triplex bonded. Interesting. And a triplex bond can never be done by one arm. Or it can it might Oh no, I don't even think it can ever be done by one of these arms. Interesting. Uh ba -ba 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 -ba. So I gonna need that. I'm going to need a regular bonding as well, because this only accepts fire atoms. I'm going to need a fire atom, obviously, and I'm going to need a glyph of salt. There we go. No, hang on. That's, this is a glyph of salt. There we go. Um, right. So I'm going to want an arm to move things between here and here. And I guess I'm going to want an arm that can access two of these spaces. Also access two of these and can do that. Okay, seems simple enough. Whether these will actually be able to like what? things and not bump into other things I'm not so sure about yet, but we'll find out. Okay, so first things first is number two will grab, spin twice, we'll reset, we'll grab, we'll spin once. Okay, so that sets off the first bond without having to drop. Then you're 
going to reset, because you're going to do some salt stuff. We've been given two fire atoms. I wonder if it would make more sense to have this arm do salt and this arm do fire elements. So hang on a sec, so... So what I'm now envisaging is you're going to grab, you're going to spin two, you're going to drop, and you're going to grab at the same time. You're going to reset. And then you're going to do the same thing again. And while you're resetting, you're going to spin one, two, three, to saltify it, and then one more, and then you're gonna reset. Okay. Well, I, I miss. I think I missed what happened there. Okay. Right. So having done that, you're gonna grab, spin one. Understand what's going on here. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, so you're gonna grab spin one. I think for some reason this reset is causing us issues. Why? Because we are here. Yeah, these are- I don't know why these are doing what they're doing. Hang on a sec. Okay. So when you get to here, you're going to grab... Uh, you're going to spin around... One, two, three... Four... And drop. And you're going to keep going one... Two. You're now covering that. I actually think I want you to cover that. Because this... is gonna then twiddle around one. It's gonna drop and you're gonna grab. You're gonna twiddle around to get the third bond.
What? Oh, for God's sake, okay. Um... You're gonna twiddle back, and then you're gonna grab. I can't remember what happens if you try and twiddle and grab at the same time. But hopefully you're then gonna... Rotate around two. This is not efficient at all, is it? Hang on. No, okay, you, you miss when I do that, that's okay. It's because I forgot to let go. I'm just gonna leave and start again because there's something f like I don't know why these bits are lit up as if they're gonna keep going. They're not supposed to. I think the game is bugged. Okay. I I don't know why that was happening. We're gonna try and set this back up how it was, if we can. That one's on board thing. I'm just gonna see it stop. Okay, right. So you are going to grab, spin two. You release and you grab at the same time. See that's added in all this white space. I don't quite understand. We're just gonna ignore it. You're going to spin back to, and you're going to spin one, two, three, assault, four, drop, and then back to place. going to grab, spin to, release, return to, Really, really helpful if. Why is this padding here? I don't understand. Is this just re a really buggy mission for some reason? I'm not quite sure what the game thinks is going on. Uh. Is it because there's no. Okay. I guess I just have to wait, input a wait there, and then the game can kind of work it out. I guess it's because you're not doing anything on instruction one. Right, so. Do this, do that, do that, drop, back, two. Okay. And you grab, and you rotate one. And that gives us our first one. I think 
you actually want to grab here and rotate around. So that that is our first bond. Sets us up for the salt bond? No, that does not work. Hang on. Oh, you need to twiddle one. Hang on. You need to twiddle one back to get the, the third bond in place. I forgot to do that step. Then you need to rotate one and twiddle, I think two? Maybe just one, we'll find out. Hang on. Would it be more efficient? Wait, hang on. Do, do, do. So you're there, you grab me. Do, 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 do. Rotate and twiddle. We've got the salt bond in place. Okay. Uh, Boomer says my Kadabra evolved. Ah, oh, excellent. Uh, for the uninitiated, Boomer is doing uh, Pokemon Rim World in the background. Okay. Oh, okay. Rotate that one, I guess. So you do that, you twiddle. And I think you just twiddle one more. And then you reset. Okay, let's try this. Do do. Our number two has a bit of sitting to do, but that's okay. It works. Oh, wonderful! I I do very much like that little sweeping motion it does at the end, where it picks up the salt along the way. That pleases me. <laughs> ding dong ding. Okay, that's a solution I like. Apparently not the lowest cost solution. I have no idea how. <laughs> there, a file of fire able to be thrown by anyone, even those with no training. Can't imagine the captain enjoying that thought. He absolutely hates it. Why pursue it? Because shouldn't we take every measure possible? Are you sure this improves our chances? Maybe not. I feel like I have to try everything. You're very enthusiastic. Hooray for weapons design! Ah! The Colvin message has finally come in. Terrace Colvin, Master of House Colvin, would like you to know that he'll be pursuing this campaign until your unconditional surrender is received. For years, House Colvin has watched House Fantassen reap the benefits of its standing, without justly earning it. Master Colvin, in his wisdom, has decided this arrogance has gone on long enough. Light your beacon green to signal your surrender, then we will negotiate. This is the a message. Interesting, the head alchemist of House Colvin wrote the message. <laughs> law? Uh huh. Lots of law. Okay. Captain, what are you doing in that ancient armor? Must lay down my life in battle. I have to take responsibility for the situation somehow. That's such an odd set. We should get you something more up to date from the armory. You must be seen on the streets, so it wants to look like the heroes of old. The first rocket would be your end. 
Let me at least reinforce it with some armor filaments. Ooh, I like the idea of armor filaments. Repeating product. Some products repeat infinitely and must be constructed as a single chain. Okay, we're making polymers. I don't really understand what that means, to be honest with you. Um, well, I understand the concept of polymer, what I don't understand is how I'm going to input it. But on the plus side, it is a relatively simple polymer. I guess... I have a thing here... Okay, I'm gonna need at least two arms, actually, aren't I? Uh, can I not rotate this at all? Really? Really? That's infuriating. Okay, fine. Uh, right, arm here, which goes on there. Also, like, which which ends do I put it in? Hang on. I can't see that tutorial again. Really? Yeah, it doesn't say. Okay, whatever. Also, actually, that's a good point. How do I bond something to this? I don't really, I don't really understand what's going on, but I'm sure it will be fine. Uh. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to have my mercury, this is lead, engage brain please Dizzy, sooner rather than later as well, uh, no you actually want to be the closer one don't you, got my glyph of doing things, So we're going to have R number one is going to grab, spin two, drop, it's going to, sp oh, is that the right way? That's the wrong way. That's okay, it's going to spin two more, it's going to grab, Reverse one, drop, return, grab, reverse one, drop. So I guess this is going to go here? And you're just going to wait. Okay. We're going to see how this works. Then you're going to reset, reset. And when you drop in there, you're going to grab here. And rotate around. And then rotate around again. You're going to reset, except you're not, because you're going to go one back, which will actually start you. No, hang on. You need to do one more thing. You need to do a twiddle. 
God, this is complicated. I don't really understand how this input works. Or this output, rather, works. Um, I'm gonna go twiddle, one, two. And rotate one around this way. Okay. So that's actually your starting position. So you're gonna start by going one, two. Oh, I forgot to let go. <laughs> That's good. Wonderful. Oh, actually... No, you're gonna let go at the start here. Okay, no, that... So that doesn't bond them. Okay. So I sort of don't understand. Can I put a, a bonding glyph over this? No. What, what do you want from me, game? I don't understand how this thing works. You haven't told me. You've shown me... Hang on a sec. You've shown me a completely different... This is just a bonding glyph. I know how a bonding glyph works. You haven't told me how to put my product into this. Ah! Tutorials. Okay, so it's not like that. Can I grab all of these as a group and rotate them as a group? I can. That's good at least. Okay. Scarzo says, "What the f is this?" Your guess is as good as mine, honestly. Every game you play hurts your head. I apologize. Um, okay, let's undo that. Okay, so maybe this requires me to use a track? Perhaps? One sec. That's not what I wanted at all. I didn't even know I could make a triangle out of it. Two? Who knows? I don't know. We need some length of track. Uh, every game <laughs> That's good. Yeah, that, that can happen. Okay, so what do I actually need to do? With this. <laughs> Did anyone know? Um... Okay, so I can do this bit. That bit. That there. Okay. So I'm going to just assume that I start here for a sec. We are going to grab. We are going to rotate one around. We are going to go plus one on the track. And we are going to drop. So we are actually starting from here. And then from here, we are going to go minus one on the track and rotate to get into position for when that happens. No, because that's bonded those together. Okay. Oh god damn you. <laughs> um 
That's fine. So I'm gonna move my track over here. And we're gonna move that to the start. We're gonna add in another minus here and another plus here. Does this work? I mean, I'm creating stuff! And it's sort of ending up in the right place, who knows? Let's try it out. I still haven't figured out how I'm supposed to actually put things into this input, so... <laughs> Apparently we successfully created it, somehow. Do I know how? Not a clue. Also, how on earth did they get less cost than this? I guess they must have done it without a track somehow, but I don't know how. Um, there may yet be hope. Perhaps I will single-handedly turn the tide of battle. <laughs> Anything is possible. What circumstances? A total offensive like this hasn't happened in generations. Centuries! And yet here we are. Sword to defend House Phantasm for life. I thought it would be a very long time. Oh my god. Jesus, he's going off to die in, in pointless battle. Courage Potion! Perhaps the column message was mistaken. I wouldn't assume it. Could still be retracted. An error by a scribal page, the wrong letter sent. I should think that rather unlikely. Stay here a little while longer, Captain. I'll make you a potion of courage. Something to inflame your blood with fighting spirit. Oh yeah, he doesn't really want to be off fighting at all, does he? What have we got? Okay, amazing. Our, our potion of courage is distilled alcohol. <laughs> Wonderful. I find it also interesting how... <laughs> they send one of the potions of courage my way. <laughs> Even better, says BG. Oh dear. Um... I find it interesting how, like, salt isn't oxygen, but it often stands in for oxygen in these recipes. <laughs> Best we can do is Dutch courage. Oh dear. Um, right. Righty tighty. <laughs> Lefty Lucy. What are we doing here? So, I need an arm that can access probably these three squares? Oh, well, actually... Okay, here's my thinking, right? Ah, okay, this is definitely a two armor. Because, uh... I can't get... I can't get these all in a line without always converting the water into salt. That's okay. I just like to do it with an extendable arm. I don't really use the extendable arms very much. Maybe I should. Who knows? Okay, we'll try a piston arm on this then. Should make everything a lot easier. Uh, we'll put you there for now. Right, so our current plan looks like grab, spin two, spin three, reset, and one more to grab, This won't work. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, this won't work. Okay. Start again. Starting from here. 
to grab, rotate one, reset, go around one, grab, go around two, one, two, three to pop it in there. Okay. Then to push out the twiddle and then to reset. Okay, then to grab Extend, rotate, retract. Okay. Then let go, rotate one more. Grab, twiddle two, no, well, oh yes, hang on, that was right, I just got to the end of the sequence, uh, then to reset, Grab, extend, rotate, retract once more. Okay, and then we have everything ready. We just need the shortest methods of getting it into a, a container. We can't just extend by one. We can twiddle and extend by one. So that's what we'll do. We'll twiddle, one, extend, reset. I think. Yes, okay. And then that needs to be there. Probably prefer a two arm solution. <laughs> but it works. Yeah, we're at the lower end of cost, but not lowest possible cost. I still don't understand how these people make them less costly than this. Do you think the coach pressure will work? It seems difficult to contradict the habits of a lifetime. It's mostly alcohol. Glad you haven't lost your willingness to toy with the poor captain, even in dire straits. Not toying, not this time. If honor demands he lay down his life, I want him to feel comfortable and most like himself. That's touching in an odd sort of way. Oh, Jesus. Alright, what have we got? A hasty written note. My lord, the enemy is upon us. I must now enter the fray myself. It's been an honor, the highest honor, to serve you for almost 50 years. If I had a hundred lives, I would give them all, but I'm sorry I have just one. Captain Ernst Gelt. Oh, Jesus. That's the end of it. Gelt made a sacrifice, the soldiers are fleeing. I have word from Armand himself that we're to change the signal light on the tower to pale green. Armand is better at treaties than he is at battles. There's hope yet after the surrender. 
I hate this. I did everything I could. Hand being for Captain Gelt's tepid strategies. Marmon's stubborn insistence on keeping honor. And Frederick's inability to do anything. <laughs> Good job, Anateus. Good job. The future remains to be seen. We were defeated so easily! I can't believe this! I got here just a few months ago. First major event is our surrender to another house? I've been here my whole life and have never witnessed something like this. Alright. Glyph of Unbonding. Eliminates the bond between two atoms. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! And I think once again, for good measure, oh no! Um. <laughs> Does this. No, okay, that doesn't mean it affects anything. <laughs> it says, do you have to trans that iron? You do! Um. Oh boy. Also, is this iron? How do you know that this is iron? Do you recognize the symbol? Because I don't. Uh, the, the elements, as far as I know in this, are fire, water, earth, air, salt, lead, gold, mercury, and then uh, moon, male, female, the other one. <laughs> so congrats on recognizing them. Uh, that was how I, that was my entire thing for the entire time I was playing uh, Sigma's Garden was just this is male symbol, this is female symbol. Uh, I didn't know what they were supposed to be called. What am I doing with this? Okay. Uh, oh god. Oh, actually, okay. The track is actually quite cheap, but does it cost more? Is it five gold per space? I wonder. Uh, Shaska says, back when you played Thalcraft, you learned some alchemy symbols for fun. Don't remember what the other one is. You remember it's associated with Venus the planet. Fair enough. I suppose that would make sense. What the hell am I doing here? Um... The Mars and Venus. Oh, I, I know that bit. It's the, it's the which, which material they're associated with, I don't know. Um, I guess I have to grab one. Boop. Um, I have to get it to a glyph of unbonding. Is it even? How do I even do this? Because, like, surely if I grab and then rotate away. Uh, that's the wrong way around. Oh, okay, it doesn't refresh until... until I move it completely off. Okay, that's good, because otherwise it would be completely impossible. Um, but that opens up an opportunity for us. To put a glyph of unbonding here. Ah, okay. So I'm gonna need another arm. That's okay. We knew we were gonna need another arm anyway. Uh, the other arm's gonna have to be here. And that's to grab... ...this. And move that out of the way. While I also move this out of the way. Do I have to wait? I do have to wait. It's annoying. Okay. Right, to down there. Where I guess I have a third arm? I don't really like the idea of having a third arm. I suppose I could have that there. No, hang on. And do this. 
Oh, okay. Right, hang on. Can I be cheeky and do that? I can. Okay. That's hilarious. Um... Okay, this is going to be the stupidest machine I've ever made, by some considerable margin, but it's going to be okay. Um... So you're going to go over here by one more. To there. Just because you have to turn an iron surrounded by salt into a copper surrounded by salt. You're not sure that works chemically, like at all. You guess that's what alchemy is for. Fair enough. Um, okay. Okay, maybe let's not put it. Let's not go back, actually. Although, I'm kind of worried. I'm worried. You know what, we'll, we'll deal with the worry later. Ah, uh, I remember the need to put that at the start so that things sync up properly. Uh. <laughs> I've acquired two small children when they would like to be a small child. Jessica says, sure I could be. Boomer says, you're already a person who will melt upon death. <laughs> um, something's gone wrong here, and I can't quite... I assume it's with how I placed this now. I don't think these two arms are going to match up properly with each other in a way that sort of benefits me. Um, so I might need another arm, which is unfortunate if so. Well, at least because I've got to figure out what I'm doing with this bloody soul. Okay, right, we'll, we'll replace you with a piston arm. How far out can this extend? Oh, not not very far. Oh. oh no. Well, we'll have to make it work. Okay, so. Grab. Retract two. That does the unbonding. And we have the salt grabbed. Okay. Leave the salt for now, let go, extend to grab the iron. Oh, I've got to grab. Nope. What are we doing? Do this. There we go. And move it around to somewhere else. Okay. So far, so good. Uh. Just because I'm made of wax. When did this happen? What? <laughs> uh. This is going to be by far and away the worst machine I've ever made. Just so you all are aware. I think I'm going to need another. I think I'm going to need another arm. Uh, hang on. Burp, 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 burp. I don't think I can see this working without another arm. So, we're going to have... Uh, 
this thing here. Right. So that goes onto there, goes to there. Now actually, the question is, is it better to have it there? Or to have it somewhere else? Because what I could do... Maybe... Is have it... Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Another rotating around. And then we're doing... Okay. Wait, 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 wait! Okay. Well, if I have a glyph of bonding here... For rebonding with the salt after I've done this... And then... This here... This is a terrible idea. This is a really this is a really rubbish idea. Don't ever do this. <laughs> if you have the choice of making a machine like this, don't. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna bring that in, bring that around. Okay, and then we're going to let go. I need to find a mercury somewhere. Not a, yeah, mercury. So I guess that can be here. Because it's got to be somewhere that it's not going to bump into. And I need to find a space for that. Actually, that could go there, and then the mercury could go there. Okay, I don't hate this. Pop that there. Let go. And then we need to spin around one, two, and retract one. One, two, retract one, grab, and then back two, release. Okay. The inefficiency bothers me. Hang on. What if I put that there, the mercury there, and this like here somewhere? Then I have that there. Okay. Uh, Shaska says, You just transmuted base iron into copper? I know! I'm an alchemical genius! Probably. Right, okay. You need to let me go. Hang on. So you grab, you rotate, you let go. Take one more, you come in, you grab, you rotate back, you let go. Marvelous. Oh, it has to be there because it has to be on the other side because that's where the um I'm trying to figure out if I can make this happen without making the arm do a full loop at any point. Can I do right, where are we at? Okay, so I need to that drop. I think the answer is no. I think the arm has to do a full loop. Maybe not. Okay, maybe this is the most efficient way. So we go out, grab, back to the right, drop, back to the right, in, grab, back to the left, two, three, and reset. I think that works. It's not pretty, but I think it works. Do -do -do. Hmm. 
Wonderful. <laughs> this is a stupid machine. But a functional one. Hooray! We've made a surrender flare! Go team! Go team! So what's supposed to happen now? I'm not sure. We have negotiations. Useless. Negotiations aren't useless. No, I mean I'm useless. What good is my skill if I couldn't change anything? Why did I go through the trouble? Now's not the time for big philosophical soul searching. Alright. Young Taros Colvan. Oh, this guy. Hello. And Verin Rivari. Ah, so this is his alchemist. Ha, weaklings, you're right, Varen. Nothing to be afraid of at all. As expected. House Fantassin strayed from the path for too long, and we were the agents of correction. All that remains is to negotiate the terms, not that they have much of a bargaining position. Negotiations are boring. They're still necessary. Well, if we just killed them all? That strikes me as a little extreme. I hate the idea of this ancient weak family hanging around even after we've won. They'll stick around begging for our scraps, waxing on about the old days. It poses a risk. You told me yourself, Aaron, that the old ways were due for a change. I did, yes. You're not afraid, are you? Easy enough for you to propose the idea of attacking, but when it comes time to follow all the way through... I absolutely not. If you believe eliminating the Van Tassen line is the right choice, then I will follow. Baron, you consider yourself clever, but just because you're the house alchemist doesn't mean you can place your ideas over mine. Understand? Of course. Follow me. Okay, so our entire family is about to be slaughtered. Wonderful. Exile and thievery. We're now in the Down River quarters. So this is House Fantassen's house, I guess, this sort of super mansion. This, I assume, is House Van Colven, sorry, House Colven's house. It looks kind of more cathedrally, and then now we're in the slums. Uh Oh, there's my certificate of license here. It's all ripped and tattered. Wonderful. Aftermath. I wish we'd gone back. It was clear there was no choice for us. If at least Frederick could survive, there would be some small hope the Van Tassen line could continue. It's too late for that. We should be thinking about what to do next. There's no next! Don't you understand? No one will want to risk dealing with us. We'll live the rest of our miserable lives in hiding. Should have gone back and died with them. Concordia, aren't you mad too? Mad? I don't know. I'm not sure we deserve anything else after how poorly we, how how poorly I defended the house. My career as an alchemist is in ruins. What a worthless pursuit this has turned out to be. Now I will say this is stupid <laughs> for, for for many reasons. Not least because you know, like. When there was a change of, of head of a castle or whatever, it was a sensible idea to keep the staff on because they're the people who knew everything about the place, you know? It's not like they're affiliated with the family. Like, I just work here. Listen, do what you want. I know the only next step for me is revenge. I don't know yet how I'll achieve it, but that's the purpose of my life now. Is that another ways of the houses? Honor, treachery, and swearing revenge? No. This is about me wanting to put a dagger through the heart of those Colman wretches. How could they be so heartless? Concordia. I'm going to step outside. I know it's dangerous. I need to take a very long walk. Wait! I was going to say, whatever it is we decide to do, we'll definitely need supplies for the transmutation engine first. I'll come with you. Okay, more Sigmar's garden. We've already done it, though. Mercifully. Uh... Alcohol separation. Boy asked, no, this gin is not because I'm taking things poorly, it's for alchemy. It's a rather brilliant scheme, actually. I'm going to isolate individual elements from the alcohol. It's actually the reverse of the process I used earlier when. Anathias? Don't ever give up alchemy. <laughs> okay. Van Burlo's wheel. By using Van Burlo's wheel with a glyph of duplication. Neutral salt can be turned into any of the four cardinal elements. 
Because it is typically only used if an alchemist cannot otherwise access one or more of the four cardinal elements, it's sometimes called the, la the alchemist's last hope. Okay, so now we have a glyph of duplication. Okay, I see. So we have a this. I don't really understand what this is. To be honest. Oh, okay, so this is one of every element. But, like, not in a method. I can't use these elements on themselves, but they'll function for this. What's the product I need? Okay, we also want a glyph of unbonding then. And I'm gonna need an arm, obviously. Right, so that can go over that. That's fine. You can start in that orientation. Let's actually move you over one as well. <clears throat> uh, oh, that's super annoying. The two elements I need are on opposite sides of the wheel. Uh, right, so what I need to do is I need to have the water in a place that I can get the salt onto that. Also get the other things onto this, and I'm gonna need more arms. I don't currently know how many arms. Also, is this? Is this? Can I collide with this? Am I allowed to collide stuff with that? So this might be a one that we use tracks for. Okay, so plan. Grab. Oh, number one is the wheel. Grab, uh, rotate, oh I'm actually going to need to unbond the salt from this as well, aren't I? Oh, because I assume if I just grab, rotate. as well. Oh, okay. Maybe it doesn't work if the salt is bonded at the start. Okay, right. So, let's figure this out a step at a time. Grab plus plus rotate drop. How does this thing work? Do I have it the wrong way around? Yes, okay, had it the wrong way around. That's fine. Um, right, go put it on that. Once I've done that, you need to rotate one, two, three, and 
while you're doing that, you need to... Okay, we'll do the pullback here. Okay. So I guess the air deposit needs to be, like, here. Nope. One, two more, drop. This says one of 24. I assume I can't fool it by just making lots of air, right? <laughs> um, okay, then I need to rotate one more, grab. Then I need to rotate one more. And then I need to rotate back four. I think. I wonder if this would be better done. With a three way or two way arm. No, it wouldn't be better done with a three-way arm. It wouldn't be better done with a two-way arm. Oh, sod, excuse me. Uh -huh. Another grab. And then... Rotate one. Twiddle one. So everything is now separated. Work. I don't know why that didn't work, but it didn't work. Drop, go, grab, spin, back to. Oh, you can't grab if you're already grabbed! Oh. Well, that's kind of rubbish, but okay, we can have a let go grab. I need one more twiddle. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, just says another game that doesn't allow deal wielding. <laughs> this is tremendously stupid. This thing I've built here. Just can put that out there. Uh, okay. And then we're going to rotate around one more. Uh, do I actually need to do this?
Is this the best place to pick up the water? Yeah, probably. Okay, right. Um, hang on, wait, let's get to the end so I know where I'm at. Okay. So now I can rotate back. Drop. Is this the best arrangement? I'm not sure it is. Hang on. I wish I could hop up and down the line as well. That would be very useful. Actually, I want to drop grab there. Hang on. That didn't work. I don't know why that didn't work. Do, do. Rotate one. Oh, hang on. Okay. Drop grab there. Because that way, I can have air here. Right, and this is a drop. We have an Enigma Emperor. Enigma Emperor asks, what about the six arm grabber thing? Uh, you mean this one? It's great conceptually, but because you can't grab individually with the different arms, it's it's very difficult to use. Because normally when you're grabbing something, you don't want to be grabbing something else that, that, that you can like reach with it. Okay, do, 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 drop grab. Uh, and then we need another rotate. We need a twiddle by t -t two. That's also why I'm not using the three way grabber. Hang on. to add the grab after I dropped. Drop, grab. Thinking out loud. Ahem. <clears throat> Do what you're asked, game. Grab, spin, twiddle, twiddle. Amazing. <laughs> uh, and remember says just means you have to be clever at how you move things. I guess, but I'm not very clever, so. <laughs> Like, for example, is this thing that I'm doing more efficient? Probably not. Uh, but we're doing it anyway because it looks fun. Okay, we're now holding a water and an earth. Right, let's get rid of this. Uh, so I want... Really, really wish I could see where I was at the end. Right, okay, do, do, do. we're holding of that. I want to go back this way, one along the track, and then deposit the water in there. So I need a minus, a rotate, a drop, grab. <laughs> uh, at that current spot, it 
can't move without crashing. I think I should be mine. Dip. Grab. Oh, but then I don't have anywhere good to put the fire. <laughs> Guess we're twiddling two back this way and dropping again. Uh, ah, Shaska's current is relative with stream delay. Fair enough. This is the worst idea that anyone has ever had for anything ever. <laughs> this is not just stupid machine design, but it's quite compact. Okay. Now what the hell do I do with this fire? It's in like the perfectly wrong place. <laughs> um okay. I want to go plus rotate 2 then rotate back 3. Well, okay, so plus rotate 2 1 Two, grab. I suppose I can rotate around another three. One, two, th oh, th 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 three, and then minus two. Empty. I think that gets me back to where I started. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Oh, I missed. What did I miss? Plus one. Okay, I don't need that. It's nearly efficient. Say one, two, and I'll drop it in place. And we should be good to begin, and I'll add a reset like there. Okay. Do -do -do. <laughs> this is such a stupid machine! Why did I build it like this? <laughs> oh, there's so many times I just like let go and grab. It's pleasingly small. That's the only good thing I can say about this machine. <laughs> I don't even know if it would be more efficient to use a single arm at this point. Um, yeah, that was that was a disaster. Uh, this is definitely doing things the hard way, but oddly, it's kind of fun. Good thing there's plenty of cheap alcohol to be found around here. Unfortunately, alcohol only gets us part of the way. We need base metals too. Securing a large quantity of metal without raising questions that'll be far more difficult. I have to come up with some kind of plan. Ah, Concordia has ideas. Oh, a water purifier, hello. Is that a glass of water from the river? That lovely grey colour was the giveaway. You weren't going to drink it, were you? We're going to need water if to, we're to remain here for the time being. Now, you've never been in this part of the city before, but really, look at that. Well then, I'll fix it! Okay. So we're making a water purifier. Rather than purifying our water, you understand, we are making a water purifier. Because, like, purifying our water would just be like an unbonding machine and then a dump for all the stuff we don't need. Uh... <laughs> Maybe Empress says it doesn't look like very clean water. It doesn't look like very clean water. You are absolutely correct. Uh... This actually could be one where the six-way arm would be useful, you know?
because we basically just got to do like a thing over and over again. Which is pick up air, turn it into salt, drop it. Okay, so grab, rotate, drop, grab. Ah, okay, hang on. The first one needs to be a two rotate. Uh, I think Marifa says, oh wait, that's the product? Yeah, yeah, that's that's what got me at first. I was like, oh, we're gonna have this thing and we need to strip all the stuff off of it. No, no. Why would you possibly think that? That would be how a clever person does it. Ah, but if we want this to be... Still more efficient to do it this way, and actually, that means we can replace this with a three-way one. That's fine. Why am I making salt water? I don't know, Shasklaw. I don't even think I'm making salt water at this point. I think I'm making more more salt than water. I think I'm just making hydrated salt. Um. Meanwhile. Uh. I need to find a way to get this in there. Oh well, okay, I don't actually need it in there because this is going to be there. That's just there so I know what the molecule is going to look like. However, the best way is probably... Uh, see, if I was good with the tracks, the best way would be to use tracks. However, I am not good with the tracks. So it's probably like that. I have a sneaking suspicion that I'm not going to get the element out at the end. But we'll see, we'll give it a go. Uh, Boomer says, making salt water sounds like how Andrew Tate tells people he's crying! <laughs> Sure, sure. Um, okay. Uh, this sort of looks like a setup that might work. So, let's program it. You need to start by grab, and you need to start by grab. Oh, we need a bonding mechanism. I forgot about that, so that's quite important. Can anybody tell me how they can guess this isn't going to work? Because I think I can already see how it's going to not work. But we'll we'll grab that vine swing when we come to it. Uh, okay. So you're going to grab, and then you're going to rotate to and let go. At the same time, you're going to go plus plus. When you let go, you're going to rotate this around by one. And you're going to kind of repeat that a few times. And you're going to twiddle at the, oops, excuse you, the end of each. Uh, I think the says a single length arm can't rotate the product easily after four rotations. Yep! Yep! <laughs> that's uh. That's the problem! <laughs> And that's what we're going to have to figure out how to fix. I'm sure it will be fine. And by sure, I mean totally unsure. I'm thinking is I might need to start this one further back.
Oh, hang on, what's happened? Ah, okay, now I know what's happened. That's okay. Do I need that gap? Yes. Because that needs to be out of the way before you grip. Okay, that's fine. Hang on. Do, 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 do. That's three. Okay. So, four. Do this one more time, I think. And where's this? Add that on there. Right. Then, ah. Uh, This lets go, this goes minus one, this grabs, this rotates around, and twiddles, I think. No, okay, it needs to twiddle before it spins, that's okay. Fudge. Ah, uh, Jessica says, I think maybe instead of holding the water, you need to hold one of the salts. Yeah, I'm getting that. I just need to figure out how I do this. Because I am unfortunately very stupid. I really wish I could just go back one step. That would be so helpful. Okay, so now we're here. And I want to be here. I think I need to twiddle too. I think I need another twiddle. Oop. Uh, and then Grandpa says, if you all click an instruction, it speeds and stops at that exact one. Why does it bloody tell you that? Huh? Yes, okay, that is exactly the correct position. Right, and I think I might be able to get away with just doing that. Wonderful. So now, from here, what's the easiest way to get this into a free space? Uh, oh, and Bim Bim has asked for a dino fact. Uh, I actually have a good dino fact for you that I, I discovered uh, possibly this morning. Uh, so we'll, we'll take a little break while I, I dino fact you. Um, so, it's, it's a tangential dino fact, but Deep sea life, right? Um, as we know, life sort of started in water somewhere. Most people assume that that means it started in the sea. There's a small contingent who suggests it started in like fresh water on land. Either way, life started in water and vertebrate life, well, okay, multicellular life started in the ocean. Right, so first there were there were cyanobacteria like filaments that joined together, and then later you got um uh not uh you got um what they called protists. There we go. Uh, that sort of were single cell, and then a few of them joined together, and then you got like the things that became the very first simple organisms, stuff like sponges, and that all happened in the ocean. 
Uh, and life wouldn't then go on to colonize land for sort of a few hundred million years. Uh, it would take a little bit again until life started to fly, and in particular until vertebrate life started to fly, you're looking at like the Permian for the first gliders, and then to my knowledge, the first true flying vertebrate were pterosaurs in the Triassic, but don't quote me on that, there might be some that I'm not familiar with. Also, it's a bit difficult to figure out exactly how true the flight of some of these early things were. Um, but anyway. So, life takes ages and ages and ages to, to learn how to... Or vertebrate life takes ages and ages to learn how to fly. Meanwhile, life has started in the seas. So you'd think it would be a fairly logical step to go from living in the sea to living in the sea but a bit deeper. Right? And it probably was. But the problem is that the deep sea, what we call the abyssal plane, the, the, the very deepest bits down like where the Titanic is or whatever, it's, it's not very old. That bit of crust, of, of Earth's crust, is generally not very old because when all the continents are sort of moving around, all the stuff that's on land, it moves and it might get sort of squidged a bit. But as a rule, it sort of stays on the surface. But the deep sea floor gets recycled. It gets shoved down underneath the continental plate and then melted in the mantle. And then it comes up again somewhere else when two plates are splitting apart. And because of this, although life obviously originated, or vertebrate life originated in the oceans, the oldest record that we have of a deep sea vertebrate is younger than the first bird. It's younger than Archaeopteryx. Uh, it's from the Jurassic period. It's, I think, about 130 million years ago. So even though like life's had all this time to get in the ocean, we don't definitively know that they are in the deep ocean until a long time after, like, you know, all the stuff on lands, even like 100 million years after the dinosaurs started. That's when we have our first actual evidence of, like, deep sea life. And even then, it's not great evidence. It's a, it's what they call an ichnofossil, a trace fossil. So there's your, there's your dinosaur fact for the day. Um, <laughs> and we only even have that because it's a bit of like deep sea floor that got shoved upwards in some tectonic event instead of being subsumed. Because that can happen. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing here? Do, 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 do. Getting a thing, making it, spinning it around. Okay, uh... Wait, hang on. So... Oh. We're in that position. If I rotate back... This way... That's a spot that I can drop in. Okay. So I'm going to put that there. We're going to stick a little reset on this. And we should be pretty good to go. I love this. I love this machine. This is great. This is my favorite one I've built so far today, I think. Spin, 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 spin. Amazing! Da da da! Jessica says the way it turns reminds me of knife tricks. Oh no, I don't know very much about knife tricks. Apparently, this is a really rubbish way of doing it though. Like, you can get cheaper and smaller and quicker. <laughs> but it's fine. Care for a sip? Why doesn't the great alchemist sample his own work? Because I'm sure it's right. What well, a coincidence! I'm sure it's right too. <laughs> it's fine. Water slightly sour. Somewhat bitter as well. It'll have to do for now. Okay, sure. Uh, I think my emperor says could move the water to the top. Move the two left tracks. Oh, maybe. Whoops. Whoops. Right, 
so that would be... Oh god, that would work as well, wouldn't it? Oh, no. What a disaster. <laughs> um... So much better. Damn! <laughs> That's a way better solution! <laughs> That's so much nicer! Thank you, Enigma Emperor, but also curse your name forever, Enigma Emperor! <laughs> oh dear! Uh, Shaska says, fun fact, Autopia water is actually toxic and lethal if you drink it regularly. Yes! Because human bodies are really stupid, basically. Um, <laughs> I think this might be like one cycle longer per run. Yeah. But like not a lot. Um That's that's <laughs> so annoying. That's that's a much better solution. I love that way more. Thank you, Enigma Emperor. Um also thank you also for confirming that it is five um money per hex rather than being just like a flat five for a track. Because I wasn't sure on that. The thief! Do we have a deal? Oh, hello. Who's this? Nils Whittle. It's an intriguing proposal. This is an abandoned tailor shop. The old Van Tassen compound is far more difficult to get into now that Colvin occupies it. Their guards are far more vigilant. Believe me, we know. Concordia and I barely escaped with our lives. Get me inside. I can take it from there. It's a little more complicated than that. The item we need isn't something you can carry on your person, it's a shipment. A shipment of lead ore. Okay. Uh, Shaska says, it basically leads its toxins from your kidney until there's none left, and then it starts breaking down your kidney. I don't think any vertebrate on Earth would survive that. No, but you know what I mean. Uh, it's used as a cleaning product, so probably not microbes either. I didn't know it was used as a cleaning product. Although I guess that makes sense, but probably in a different way, because I assume that's to do with, um, like, salt balance. I assume it just drains all of the ions out of them. Uh, right. Shipment of lead ore. I see. I'll supply you with a shipping order, but it needs a seal. You'll have to find a real order and take the seal from it. I suppose I'll impersonate a supply officer so if we take the shipment down the river. Exactly. That's somewhat more fanciful than I expected. Of the country, it's as feasible as they come. Practically a walk in the park. Don't forget, we'll supply with the best equipment you'll find anywhere. If I'm to make this gold, I'll need the lead. That's how alchemy works. Gold, yes, I do like a bit of gold. Pull this off, you'll have more than just a bit, I promise you. Ooh, okay, so all the stuff we need for stuff. Fixing the seals to all these invoices is always such a chore. Though the undoing one is a little thrilling. <laughs> Wow! The seals are complex, but the glue isn't a weak point. Surprising it hasn't been taken advantage of before. Maybe it has. The fantastic stocks were never closely tracked. Armand didn't care much for details, I'm sorry to say. If no one misses it, is it really stealing? Yes, I'm gonna go with yes. Ooh, okay, interesting. This is an interesting and annoying shape. Uh, <clears throat> right. So we're going to need a bonding glyph to start with. Uh, so we're going to need an arm to service this. Gonna need a salt glyph and some water. So we can grab water, put it there, grab salt, put it there, and move the whole thing out of the way. Well, okay, we need to do it in the opposite order actually. We need to grab salt, ba doop, salt, ba doop. Move the whole thing out of the way. So maybe I want the salt and water over there, but only maybe. <laughs> 
Uh, Shaska says it's quite basic, relieve your tongue with slight burns a few hours after a sip. Ooh, yummy. Yummy scrummy. Meanwhile, I'm going to need another arm that can service specifically this. Yeah. Uh, that I can do this hole to bang with. Oh, and doing this one is always such a pain. Shaska says, the kind of burns you get from a drink that's still a bit too hot. Oh, okay, fair enough. Right. Okay, what are we doing? We are grabbing and rotating one, two, three with you. And at the same time, you are grabbing and rotating one, two, three. Should be simple enough. Oh, sod. That binds you together. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. We will wait with this one. Uh, that much. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right, then you are resetting. Unfortunately, it takes ages, but there's nothing we can do about that. Meanwhile, you are letting go, carrying on for two, grabbing Mercury, going back one, and letting it go. Fantastic. Then you don't really have a lot to do for a while. So your job is to just kind of sit there. So we might have you grab in case we need to move things out of the way as the salt moves around. I'm not expecting you to. Right, meanwhile, once you're back, you need to grab little one, two. Okay. Then you need to twiddle a third one. And then reset, I think. Hmm. This is an easy bit. What comes next is potentially going to be a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to use you to move that out of the way by one. And then toddle back two spaces. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I went too far. Do -do. When you're here, you're not going to do anything yet. You're going to grab one, two. That's the easy bit. Because that's the salt in the right shape. Okay, actually no, this this should be fine without you doing this. 
because you're gonna let go there and then twiddle around one, two, maybe three. Hang on, let's see. Do, 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 do. This is so inefficient. What's happened? Hang on. Up, two, three. Oh, for God's sake! Hang on, hang on. Dip. Oh, I'm twiddling you the wrong way. That's what's going on. Twiddling you two more. Grab. Grabs there. Moves one. Let's go. Moves one. Oh, sugar. Gonna I was about to stick it on the wrong end, wasn't I? Hang on. Yeah, that's the wrong end. Okay. Right. Get up to like here. Oop. Okay, so I don't want to let go there. I want to move back one. I actually want to move back two, which means moving this. But that's not the end of the world. Because I know I need to do this anyway, right? So. Up, 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 up. What the hell's going on? Okay, I need to just redo this whole thing. Oh my god, what a pain! To let go here. Okay, you don't need to let go here. You need to reset here. To grab. Spin one, two, three, four. Okay. Set again. Do the same thing a third time. One, two, three. Three for now. Dance, busy doing its own thing up there. Just two? Yes. No, hang on. Can I pass all to here, please? Okay, now I do need another two on the end of this. Bloody lying thing. Right. Just one on the end of this? Okay. Then I go back to one, two. Part of the problem is, is when I fast forward to this space, it doesn't actually show me what happens on this space, right? <laughs> it shows me what happens on the space before it. Anyway, uh, okay, we're then going to grab, rotate two around this way. 
math. That's now bonded correctly, which is wonderful. We now need to twiddle and then rotate. And I think we rotate this one at the same time. And I think that should work. Okay. In, twiddle. I rotate it one way. That's fine. That's my fault. Twiddle, rotate. Don't rotate there, we need another twiddle. And that's the correct molecule. Now, you need to reset, and you need to turn one more and let go. I think. Do -do -do. Step, bond, there, let go. Okay. It should look like that, I think. Do -do -do. Uh, arm number one, just chilling for ages. Bonk. Wonderful. Oh, uh, I forgot. I forgot to add the reset command. That's fine. Uh, <clears throat> other than that, it's all fine. Arm number one just goes spinny so much. We did it, gang! We made the whole product! Successfully! We made two, even! It's hilariously inefficient, but it's about as it's about as cheap as I can make it. I don't think I can make it cheaper than this. Apparently, oh, maybe no one else can either. That's nice. Seems something like this would have applications well outside of the specific mission. You can keep it. You're sure? I'm not planning a life of crime. Just the one crime. One or two. Once you start down the road, it's hard to go back. Not that I've tried. Oh yeah. Morally questionable actions. This is vexing. We were still at House Fantassen. Were we still at House Fantassen? I could fly immediately with any length of rope. And in a variety of widths and colours. I hardly need anything so extravagant. And Anateus is like, I can make you something better anyway. Uh, and the grandpa says three tracks is cheaper than the second arm. There might be a way. Fair enough. You don't need to create everything, Anathias. No, but I want to. <laughs> it's possible the alchemist is rather enjoying himself. What the hell is this? Oh no. Oh no. It's one of these. Oh no. Oh god. I don't know why I'm surprised. Oh god. <clears throat> right. Well. I'm gonna start probably with a piston arm, I should think. That still seems like a sensible place to start. Um, then I'm going to need to bond some stuff, for sure, and actually I might as well have that in that orientation, uh, and I'm going to need some earth and some salt. And the Emperor says, I think you're doing this backwards. This is the way I was doing it before, and it seems to like it. But if it is backwards, then we'll deal with it. Also, it's intensely annoying to me that you can't rotate these. Whose idea was that? 
A bad one. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, what is going to be the most efficient way to get... Oh no, it's worse than that. I have to bond it that way as well. Oh, Oh, there are words for people like you, game. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. No, I might have to use a... I might have to use a track. I'm terrible at using tracks efficiently, as we all know. Um... Fine, right, back. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. <laughs> um, right, okay, assume that we're gonna... Well, I need to... No, I need it there. And I'm gonna need a bonding glyph here. What I also don't know is if I'm allowed to take the product off of this space. Like, once I've done stuff with it. Because cause there's no instructions as to how these actually work. Um... <sighs> Let's think. Let's think about this in a sensible fashion. Um... one more section of track. This sort of looks like the minimum amount I might need, which is promising. Uh, and everyone says, you don't even need to drop it, you just need the correct atoms over all the visible parts. The dot 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 is for show. Okay, interesting. Um... Let's think about how I want to do this. And where the most efficient place for the things to be is. So I can grab that, put it there, grab that, go to here, put it there. Having this there is going to be a problem. <laughs> okay, let's assume I'm going to want... So I grab, swing round, put it in, go here... Oh no, I need to grab a new one. Grab, go out there. There, go here, grab, go here, swing round, put it there, move, then reset, put this one in there, uh, thank you for stopping by Zoe, uh, it's been a pleasure having you, uh, perhaps I will see you later indeed, oh god, what? made this, I hate <laughs> Whoever... Ugh. It's fine. Okay, we are gonna do this. This will probably be a good starting point. Grab. Rotate. Two. Three. Reset. 
actually, hang on, do I want to be holding the salt, or do I want to be holding the earth at the end of this? I probably want to be holding the end, earth at the end of this. So let's not do that. We'll grab, we'll move, rotate, two, three, four. Actually, I might be able to do it if I start from here. But I might be able to just grab. Rotate two, three, four. Reset. Grab. I don't know if this helps actually. This might not help. This doesn't help at all. Oh my god, Dizzy! Engage brain! I just am having no luck in in visualizing what I need to be going on. Do I need these reversed? Perhaps? Maybe. We'll go with that. Okay, grab. Rotate one. Two. Three. Move. Reset. No. That didn't do anything. Why did that do what I wanted it to do? Plus? Oh, it's because that's a in plus, not a minus. Right. Okay. Grab! Rotate two, three. One, two, three. Gives us a bond. Holding the earth and I'm the wrong way around. <laughs> I don't think that's the most efficient way of doing what I want to do, but I'm too stupid. My brain just doesn't work. Okay, we are gonna. Okay, we are gonna do this. I guess we'll start from here. No, we'll, nope, nope. So we'll start from. Yeah. Ugh. It's a good job we're nearly at the end of the stream. Grab one, two, three, four. Reset. Grab one minus two. Right. Plus, oh, I don't think I've done this right still. Reset, we'll find out. Do, 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 do. Because I have to figure out how to get. so much! Why does my brain not work at all? Why am I so stupid? Why am I so unbelievably thick? I don't understand. I'm sure I wasn't born like it. Um, oh, I can't wrap my head around how I want this f***ing thing to go, and it's causing me great angst. Right, do, 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 do. Like, I can tell you why this is wrong, because it's now really awkward to get this into position. And then this, but I can't tell you how to fix it.
Would this help? At all? No. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go back to how we had them before. I'm gonna cry about it. So what I want to do is I want to grab, I want to go around one, two, three, I want to go left one. Okay, I actually want that one there. Right, okay. Then I need to reset, which takes forever. I need to then grab, go one, maybe I need, maybe I need a twin arm. Maybe that would make things easier. I can see that helping. Okay, let's grab a twin arm. Uh, one, two, three. Minus. Let go. Plus. Grab. Can I have a grab? It's okay. Promise I'm not going mad. I'm going slightly mad. It's okay though. No, I can't have that work. I can't have that like that either. I wish my brain wasn't made of an incredibly dense material. I think. That would help everyone. Grab. Rotate. Minus. No, plus this time. Plus. No, we can't plus and we can't rotate because there'll be things there. Okay. I only have one arm. Just the one arm will have to do everything. Okay, what have we got so far? Do, 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 do. Then we twiddle it round to the left. One, two, three places. And we reset. Right, we grab. We go turn, turn, minus, turn. Then we go plus, rotate back. Then the atoms in the way, okay. So we don't do that. Oh, go away, you stupid thing.
This is so inefficient. I hate this. I hate this so much. This is the worst solution to any puzzle I've ever done in any video game. No? Why has that done that? Crap. No, that is right. That is what I wanted to do. And then I twiddle. Minus, I go rotate, I grab, I go plus, I think what I really wanted to do was just have two of these, to be honest. That's really what I wanted in my life, and I decided not to do that, because I'm an idiot. That would have made my life a lot less miserable. <laughs> ah. This... This doesn't work. Because it only works if I've already got one there to, to grab on, put there and put back. Oh! Up to there, we're good. That's, that's good. That's all good. Bonk. Okay. So now what the hell do I do? What the hell do I do? <laughs> what will work? Because the thing is, if I put this one onto that space... Got no idea. If I put this one onto that space, won't that space then be full next time? I think I need a second. I think I need a second bonding glyph. I don't think I can do it without a second bonding glyph, which sucks. Basically, um, I hate every single part of this. <laughs> okay, right. Second bonding glyph. Even can it can be down like here or something. I guess. Uh, don't know what. Okay, we are grab minus Can I do this like this? I have seen special the answer is no, but it might be okay if I do this. Grab minus rotate rotate. Grab, rotate, twiddle back to three. Reset. Then we 
repeat the first step. Grab, minus, rotate. Oh, actually, I don't need to minus and plus there, do I? Although it's no slower than just rotating the extra two times, so I suppose I might as well. It's no slower. One, two. One, two. Three, four. Yeah, no, it's no slower. Okay. Uh, grab, minus, rotate, rotate. Plus. Right. We now have one. I rotate two, I think. And then I minus. And then I minus again. And I reset, I think. It's hideous and ugly, and I hate it to pieces. But it works. And I'm sure I could make it more compact. But I'm not smart enough to do so, unfortunately. I'm sure I could trim off one of the, the track there, but I don't know how. So we're just going to take it as a win. Oh, wonderful. All right, that's where we're going to end it there. Uh, we have run a little bit. Uh, let's see this last little bit of dialogue. Uh, who knew that creating rope fiber could be so fascinating? Not me. It's not something I imagine they teach at alchemy school. Strong, resilient, let light, yet light and easy to carry. I say a better rope has never before been created, for God's sake, Amateus. He's really quite absorbed. It's a shame most alchemists think work like this beneath them. Imagine how different the world would be if we applied ourselves to problems like this one. Well, thank you, Anateus, for that little bit of philosophy. Uh, we are going to be leaving it there for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, thanks to Boom Boom and Zoe and uh, BG and Chaskor for being around in the chat. Thanks especially to Enigma Emperor for showing up and being a new face. It's lovely to see you. Always wonderful to have new people on board. Uh, I am going to be checking Twitch to see who is live so that we can go on a little raid adventure. Uh, so don't go anywhere just yet. Um, but yeah, uh, I will be streaming Opus Magnum again this Friday coming, all things being equal. That's not a firm commitment, that's a, that's a probably. Uh, but other than that, I'll have the weekend off, so I'll be back at midday British time on Monday with some more uh, Assassin's Creed. Uh, I'll be around then Tuesday, Wednesday at midday that week, and then theoretically should have another evening stream uh, on Thursday. Uh, so that's where I'm going to be for the, the week coming. Uh, you can also find me on my social media. Um, Twitter at this for demise on mass and elvix.cafe slash at this for demise. Let us see who is playing what. Numi is playing Railbound. Uh someone's playing Stray. I did enjoy Stray when I played Stray. Shall we go and raid? Oh, is that raid? Yeah, I can spell. Uh yeah. Uh, you're all wonderful beans, and I'm so lucky to have you in my chat. Make sure that Lady Lecter, who is our raid target for today, is just as lucky to have you. Uh, have a great day, and uh, 
enjoy the rain and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye everyone. Ta-ra!